привет! Uh, I'm very glad to see my channel today. We are going to eat some Uzbek food, uh, traditional, national Uzbek food. The most popular meal here is plov, which is rice with uh, meat and like it's usually very oily and it's usually cooked in very big like massive portions. <laughs> At the moment we came to the main place in Tashkent. Tashkent is the capital of Uzbekistan. We came to the main place where they cook the most amount of this plov in different variations. So now uh, all the like locals come here, tourists come here and I hope there is at least something left because they usually start to eat it at about 12 uh, a p p.m. 12 p.m. And at 2 p.m. there is like nothing <laughs> almost already. So it's about 1 um, p.m. at the moment and I hope there is a lot of food yet left. Agatha fell asleep in the car. We were getting a taxi here and I'm carrying her baby doll because like kids. <laughs> Let's go to eat some plov. I hope to show you how they cook it, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but we'll see. We were able to come inside the kitchen where they cook all the plov. It's located a little bit outside of the main building and has glass walls and open doors from two sides so anyone can come inside to see the cooking process. There were so many people anyway. The biggest kazan was almost empty already when we came but at least you can see how giant it is and how much oil is there at the bottom. Usually it's full when it's freshly made. They cook everything on real fire so they have wood there near the entrance. And there were a lot of smaller kazans in the kitchen as well, and they were all at the different stage of cooking. Plov is usually cooked by layers, so at first they put a lot of oil there, a big pieces of meat. Then they add vegetables like carrots and onions, sometimes chickpeas. And then a huge layer of rice. They end up with several buckets like that. <laughs> Then they put a lot of salt, mostly because of the huge portion, but plov itself isn't too salty usually. I haven't seen at which stage they add spices unfortunately, and they also put their barberry or raisins usually, depending on the recipe. At the end they press it and leave for quite a long time to like stir and cook. And when the plov is ready, they take out all big pieces of meat, chop them very fast and add on top of each plate. I don't know at which stage they mix pop, but I think uh, when it's already like cooked, so right before serving, but I'm not very sure about that. <laughs> yeah. To some plates they also add eggs and they cook three most popular different types of plov there as i got it they all are originally from different regions of uzbekistan also i was quite impressed with the amount of plates <laughs> these waiters are carrying at once <laughs> like let's admit that's quite a lot of <laughs> Yeah. 
Fresh pomegranate juice is quite popular in Uzbekistan too, so they also make it there, right near the entrance. Probably it goes well with the plot. We came inside to the building and what was unusual is to see sinks for washing hands right at the entrance. The hall was huge and full of people. <laughs> the waiter took our order, we chose two different types of plov, tea and half of the naan bread. <laughs> Originally they drink tea from little bowls and they eat everything with non bread. Mine plov was called wedding plov, so probably it's common to eat it at weddings. I also think it comes from Bukhara region, but I can be wrong about that. Mine had chickpeas and raisins, and probably it's the most popular one since it was in the giant, almost empty kazan there. Tolles plov was called Chaihanski, and it was served with eggs, bigger meat pieces, and a little roll of grape leaves. It also had more fried and salty taste. Mine was a little bit sweet because of raisins. <laughs> they often put sugar in teapots there and we are not big fans of sweet tea, especially with oily food. So Toilet was a little bit upset about the sweetness. I feel like you're on a wedding. Yeah? On a wedding. Это ягодки? Это изюм. Изюм. Из-за этого он чуть сладкий. Прикольно. We got two receipts for tea and bread, and we needed to bring them to the cashier to pay for them and for the plot. My husband is talking to people as always. Huh? <laughs> so it's uh, more than 1000 portions. Uh, if you count it in plates <laughs> and portions, but like three tons, like so, so much of it. We also were wondering if they eat only plov for lunch, traditionally here in Uzbekistan, because like these places are full usually like every single day at the lunchtime they're full and they like finish all of that food and uh, also this is the biggest one but they usually have smaller ones around the city too and we've been visiting our friends cup friend couple times and they were eating plow for lunch too so we asked uh, that man if like they eat only plov for lunch like always and he said that mostly yes they eat plov every single day for lunch like depends on the person obviously but he said that traditionally like they all just come and eat plov every single day for lunch <laughs> or cook it at home so that's very interesting so it cost us about seven dollars for two portions of plov tea and half of the bread so it was quite affordable and portions were big uh, my husband didn't finish it although he loved it but <laughs> we usually eat a little bit less for portions and i couldn't finish it like i i think i ate half of the plow only because of my nausea because i can't eat really oily things at the moment <laughs> but my husband ate almost all of it and like the portion is really big it's quite heavy for the stomach in this place they only serve three uh, variants of plov uh, three different types of it so so yeah i guess i woke up 
I also wanted to show you one more meal that is very uh, popular and is like traditional. It's like a bread with meat. Uh, it's called samsa and it's also quite oily and fatty and it's 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 tasty. Usually they use uh, mutton meat, like sheep, meat from the sheep <laughs> for this samsa thing. So uh, we found one place where they sell it and we'll go to buy it and I'm going to show it to you. So samsa is usually cooked with puff pastry in big traditional ovens called tandoor. It's a little bit similar to pirashki, but it has a different dough, more oily and salty taste and more like fried texture. It also has nothing sweet in it. Pirashki usually have at least a little bit of sweetness in the dough. Yeah. <laughs> Идешь меня выкупать? Да, в заложниках. Да, да, да. Ого, тянем, нем. Сейчас будешь кушать, да. Ага. This is a small samsa. Uh, often it's uh, twice or three times bigger. But this is a small one. This is with meat and onions and they have like um i don't know how this dough is called but it's it's really tasty so thank you guys for watching my video i hope it was interesting for you to see all the national food there is definitely more traditional meals but these two are the most popular ones the ones that you can find everywhere in uzbekistan and the ones that people actually eat all the time so Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Excuse me, bye-bye. Bye-bye.